What's up guys, Bright2J back with an all new Yay Toys Plus. Today's review is going to be on the Medicom Mafex number 82 Deadpool figure. This is an incredible figure, okay? I've been posing this guy around now for about a week and a half. I'm finally getting around to reviewing this thing. Um, super glad I didn't pass up on it. He's probably my favorite Deadpool right now. Um, there are some gripes I have, but they're very, very minor, and I'll get into that. Um, but whether or not you're sick of Deadpool, I'm not. I'm a huge Deadpool fan. Um, I'm grateful that now we finally have a Deadpool figure that is kind of the best of every import company with the height of a Marvel legend. So, with that being said, let's take a closer look at Wade. And here's Wade. And I have to say, I am absolutely crazy about this figure. I've been posing this guy around now for about a week, as I stated earlier. Um, he is a lot of fun. There's one gripe I have with this figure more than anything, but there's a workaround, okay? And I'm going to start with that first. This Deadpool does not come with any guns. None. Zero. Zilch. However, if you've been collecting imports, if you've been collecting Marvel Legends, you know, anything in the, the 112 scale, other guns work for this figure, okay? Now, it's really weird because they gave us trigger fingers for this figure. It's like they kind of said to us, hey, we're sorry, but you can use whatever gun you want because it is weighed, okay? So that's that. Um, first and foremost, this figure is fantastic. He is a non-pass-up if you're a Deadpool fan. Um, he, there's a lot of fun factor. So aside from not having guns, the only other gripe I had with this figure, and it was a simple fix, was that his leg on his right side was super tight. But um, according to D-Amazing, uh, Darius taught me about uh, a couple of years ago now when the WWE stuff came out from Figure Arts. A little bit of WD-40 in the joint and do that physical therapy stuff works like a charm. And I did. And now my right leg is fine. You can hear the squeak, but it's not, you know, uh-oh, is it going to break because it's Mafex. So, uh, yeah, that is pretty cool. That A little bit of fixing, and he is fantastic. This is probably my favorite Deadpool right now. Um, I am a gigantic Wade fan. Um, I have a lot of Deadpool lingering around the room, whether it be Marvel Legends or import figures or even Mezco. So uh, it's pretty awesome that we have Mafex's take on a Wade Wilson or Deadpool. And... There's a lot of similarities between uh, this one and the Revo and the Figma, and later on in the video, I'll do some comparisons between all the like all the Deadpool's that I have, um, at least the ones that I can find right away, because I'm still working on the Nerd Cave. But uh, this figure is downright awesome. He's the proper height to f uh, scale in with a Marvel Legend. There's some heft to this figure. Uh, he doesn't feel fragile. And, uh, yeah, um, so kind of rambled on enough about how much I like Deadpool. So uh, let's talk about his um, articulation. So out of the box, um, so in the beginning of the video, you saw there was nothing in the box. I took all the, accessor uh, all the accessories out because um, I just keep them in a Ziploc, and I just kept the box to, you know, show you guys. The backdrop. Um, plus, I'm, I like all the boxes. I keep all boxes. Um, so, yeah. Uh, one of the things that I thought was pretty odd, and, but it wasn't... It was fixable. Um, it wasn't really odd. Right? Nothing really fixed. But the, the um, sheath was not on him. Right? There was, there was a, a blank figure when I took him out. You actually add on the harness. Now, that's actually unique, okay? Because um, every other Deadpool that we get, he's always wearing the harness or the, the sheath or whatever style that 
Deadpool is at the time, you know? So, interesting that we didn't get this attached. Um, real quick, the, uh, the sheaths. So, this is all one piece, right? It's sculpted together. The Figma one, I know you were able to, like, you know, position it how you like. Um, but this is kind of just a sculpted, you know, crossover. Uh, with this figure, they did do the um, Reveltech uh, version of the hilt where the sword is fake. But I feel like the uh, plastic on this is a lot more sturdy. So that's great. Because I feel like the Reveltech ones were very fragile. I mean, it was their first figure. A lot's changed with that company. But the fact that the hilts were a little fragile um, kind of hurt, you know. And I definitely had to get one repaired or replace it with another because the one had broken on me. Um, so, yeah. This is pretty cool, too. You could actually take this off if you wanted. There's a little slot there and that peg there. So, it goes in really, really easy. Um, now, to... Excuse me. Uh, now to um, take this on and off. I mean, you could do the route of like sliding it off this way, and I did. But when I was watching, uh, I want to say it was Robo's video, his arm popped out, and I feel like that's an easier way to just put this on and off. Now the arm pops off pretty easy, but it's not broken. Um, they definitely have come a long way since the original Ma uh, Mafex figures. I know Spider Man. I never got that one. Um, but he was like a fall apart figure. My first Mafex was Batman from the Dark Knight. And that figure fell apart a lot. Love the figure to death. It was one of my favorite import figures at the time. I'm so glad they actually went out and, you know, modified and gave us a third version of that. I do have all three. Um, but I like that the arms don't fall off like they did once upon a time. Now for detailing... The paintwork, like the silver, it's more that comic book style Deadpool that we've been seeing lately. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, it's very reminiscent to the Reveltech one, more so in that. And I forget if it's the same as the Figma, but we'll get into that, like I said before. Um, for articulation... The head is on a ball peg, separate from the neck, and he does have really good range of motion down. He could bury his chin into his chest. He can look back pretty far. He can go side to side, both neck and head. Arms can go out about that far before they pop out. He does have a upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, which I feel like the peg joint for the... Um, not the peg, but the um, the hinge for the elbow on Deadpool is a lot sturdier than Spider-Man. Because I'm going to break out Spider-Man now real quick. And I pointed this out in my video, and I know there were multiple complaints. Uh, I know X-Man 87 had an issue. The peg joint in here, it falls apart pretty easy. And I've had to do numerous amount of work to get that to stay in. A lot of hot water and a lot of like physical therapy there. Still one of my favorite figures, but I'm so glad that they fixed it on Deadpool. You know, because it's a $90 figure, a 95 and change, plus, you know, in my state, New York tax is pricey. It becomes almost $100 for something like this, and you don't want your figure to break at that price, you know? Um, so, really glad that they fixed it, and it's great on both my arms, which I'm super happy about. Now... As for the uh, the wrist, it's that um, hinge and peg system like it was with Spider-Man. And I can show you the peg really quick. Um, yeah, you can see it's just a straight peg. And, you know, it's a little fragile. You want to be careful. But just give it some... Don't give it force. Just be very careful when putting it together. Uh, now, the one thing about the hands was that, and I noticed this on mine after watching Robo's video uh, from Foosh, 
that um, the holes for the hands were a little too small for the peg. So what I did was I took a tiny little screwdriver and just kind of stretched out the hole a little bit and then guided the hand on and checked every single hand. It's tedious, I know, because there are 14 alternate hands, I believe. Um, so to do all that and you figure 16 hands all in all, including the, the default fist, to have to like stretch the hole out just a little and get it together. A little bit of a pain, but it's fine. Once it's done, it's done and it works and it's perfect. Okay, um, so really easy fix. As for the diaphragm, let's see, he can go side to side, crunches about that far only, and back pretty far, right? It's pretty far. Um, he does have, you can hear the squeak in the joint, um, he does have waist articulation. I've taken them apart before. It is a ball peg system, so it's pretty simple. Uh, one thing that's cool is the pouches can go up on both sides, so all four can lift up. Um, you want to be careful. I had to re-glue these two on the right because uh, the glue was weak, and it took a minute, and it popped out, and, you know, but, it, you know, simple little fix. Um, this is one of three belt buckles, which I find pretty cool, and I'll talk more about that when I get into accessories. Um, for the legs, he does have some, uh, upper thigh rotation there. Uh, it can go down for further kick. Um, he does have double jointed knees. Uh, he can kick out forward about that far, back about that far. And he does have um, really good range of motion in the ankle pivot. And he does have a toe joint, I think. Yeah, come on. Yeah, there's, there's toe articulation as well. It's just a little tight on mine. Um, all in all, fairly good articulation for what you're getting. Uh, I'm not fairly good, really good for what you're getting. And I really like it. So... Now that I've rambled on enough about Wade and all his glory, let me talk to you about accessories, and then I'll do those uh, comparisons. Okay, it took a minute to find some Deadpools lingering around the room uh, that would be best for comparison, but I found the three that I think would work um, for the silver buckle design on the torso. The first one I'm going to compare them to is the uh, last figure that was released, which is the Figma Deadpool. I have the EX, uh, thank you to my buddy Danny, and uh, so shout out to him, and um, yeah, this is the Figma Deadpool, and you can see they took inspiration and used the same kind of torso uh, belt buckle system. Um, such an underrated figure. I like this one best, but very underrated. Um, Alright, move him out of the way. Uh... Then, I'm going to compare him to his Rebel Tech counterpart, which is probably one of my favorite versions of Deadpool ever, and uh, I'm really excited about this figure. Like, I love, love this figure. But as much as I like this version of Deadpool, I think the Mafex one is just a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you can see the same design, kind of, inspiration. And that's pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, I'm going to keep him in this awesome pose because I like the way he is. You can see the belt buckle design. This is the Marvel Legends that came out with the uh, Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave. Um, God, I found this guy at Toys R Us. You know, like I found him in the wild and this is one of my favorite Marvel Legends ever. But yeah, um, you can see the same idea. Alright, so those are the three Deadpools that I wanted to compare them to. Um, now, for accessories, because Deadpool has a lot. Um, he has alternate belt buckles, which I'm going to do first, okay? So, you have this belt buckle here, which is the um, 
you know, the infamous Deadpool logo. Then you have this one here, which I'm not sure about the all red. I think that's supposed to be out of like the Spider Gwen comic, but not Spider Gwen, uh, Gwenpool comic, but I've never read Gwenpool, so I don't know anything about that character. All right? So I think the all red looks pretty cool though. Uh, the red eyes, I mean. But I'm going to switch it to my favorite belt buckle out of the three. And that's this one. The cartoonish Deadpool eyes. I think that's perfect. And we're going to do that right now. It takes a second to do it. Just unplug from there. And then just plug it right in like so. And then straighten it out like, you know, like that. Focus. There we are. So yeah, I think that looks best. And wow, I can still see some WD-40 on his leg. Huh. Uh, yeah, so there's that. Now, for alternate heads, he has two other options. You have one, uh, which is his, you know, squinty eye, he's about to do some damage head. And then my personal favorite, which I'm going to put on right now, um is the expression one with the winking eye. I think that's great. And this sword piece is always falling out on me. Alright. Um, so, yeah, that's my favorite head out of every head sculpt that he comes with. I do wish we had a Wade head. Would have been cool, but I get it. You know, they already gave us so much. Um... So, um, as you can see, the hands that I have on them, since I've had in the start of the video, there's that, you know, call me expression, and then just like an open hand, so you get two of each, uh, then you get uh, two default fists, which are, you know, out of the package, move them out of the way. So, you get two default fists, then you get um, two hands for holding his swords, you get two hands which are kind of like come at me type hands, um, a pair of thumbs up. You got no guns, but you got his deadly point. Right, and and then lastly, no guns, but trigger finger hands. Trigger holding uh, hands. So, this is a neat little trick, alright? So, I have him holding the gun from the EX Figma Deadpool. So yeah, you get two of these, but no guns, and it's weird. It's a Deadpool without guns. And, uh, again, you know, if, if no guns, you can make it work. If you have any other Marvel Legend, that I'm sure everybody has spare guns laying around their apartment from random toys. You can get them to hold random guns. So... As you saw, that was the Figma EX. Uh, here's the other one. You can get him to hold, say, this was the gun that came with the Netflix Punisher figure. Um, holds that really well. Um, also from Figma, the Revolver. If you want Deadpool to do his best Rick Grimes. Um, takes a second. Yeah, you can get him to hold that really well. Um, you can get him to hold the Figma pistol. So you have that looks really good. And then lastly, one of my personal favorites is that if you have the Revel Tech Deadpool, 
he holds the Rebel Tech Deadpool guns really, really well. And, like, you can get it with the triggers lined up. So, considering I have a broken Deadpool, um, I have spare guns, and I think that's great. Because um, I like these on the Rebel one, so now I have a spare set for this version. And that looks pretty cool. Um, I said sword holding hands before. I forgot to show you these. My bad. Um, really cool looking. The red and black theme to match the hilt, of course. Um, these feel like they are a little on the flimsier side, so just be careful not to, you know, like, break these, because... You know, it's a $95 figure. Um, but nice little sheen to them. I do like the chrome. Um, oh yeah, one thing that I find really cool too. Uh, it was staring right at me, and I totally forgot. In the gun department, if you have the Marvel Legends Juggernaut Deadpool, you know what you got with that figure. Ta-da! He can hold the bazooka. You know, and I always like the boxing glove thing on it because it's Deadpool. It's going to be comical, you know. So the fact that this version of Deadpool can hold this just makes it work. Um, and then one of the things that I like to do is because I have the EX Deadpool, you can have him hold EX Deadpool's size. And he holds these things really, really well. I mean, it's a little tight to get into the hand at first, but he holds it really, really well. And yeah, that is cool that you can do that. You have all these options with this Deadpool, despite the fact that he doesn't come with guns. Um, yeah. Alright, so that's pretty much it for this video. Uh, I know it's a long one, but there was a lot to cover. Uh... This figure's awesome. If you can get them, buy them. Don't miss out. I'm really digging this comic book line from uh, Mafex. I cannot wait to get Venom. And I know there's like a Wolverine and a Cyclops and... Oh, God. The, the Hush line. Oh, oh my God. Um, so, yeah. There's a lot coming with Mafex and their comic book line. So, we, we're in for a lot. We're, we're all in to be bankrupt by the end of... Um, <laughs> I guess next year. Um, and, you know, real quickly, I know I showed him just to show the, the joint issue, but uh, I'm going to compare him to uh, Spider-Man, you know, which was the f uh, second figure dropped by this uh, company in this. Um, like I said, Gwenpool, she looks great. I'm not going to get her because I don't know anything about the character. And, uh, you know... But here he is with Spider-Man, and if you guys have read anything between these two, this looks really great. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to bring on one more figure, just because. One of the greatest Marvel Legends, in my opinion, over the last two years, goes out to be this version of Cable. And the fact that they look really good together. The height is perfect because Cable's taller than Deadpool. I think this looks really, really cool. And I love their story arcs. So, yeah. Um, I think that's fantastic. So, yeah. This figure is great. Don't miss out on them. I got mine at Image Anime. I don't know if they have any left. But um, I know you could always go on BigBadToyStore.com. They should have them. Um, it, but they're good on restocking, so I'm sure you'll be able to find them. Uh, or, you know, wherever you guys live, check your hobby shops that carry the imports. Um, don't miss out on Wade, especially if you're a Deadpool fan. Because this figure, there's so much fun factor in it that um, there has not been a day in the week and a half that I've had them that I haven't put them down. So, um, yeah, it, it's just a great piece. And I've bought, this was a gift for my wife for my birthday. Um, but every other figure I've purchased that you've seen reviews on, whether it be Logan, Batman, uh, the Daredevils from Mezco, Diabolic, I've gotten so many figures over the course of like the month. 
And as much as I love every single figure that I have, this one wins. Not because my wife got him for me. I mean, it does help. But there's so much fun factor in this guy that he's just totally worth it. All right? All right. So I've rambled on enough, and I do apologize. Um, thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing. Uh, you can, of course, find this video as well as a ton of other cool items on innercitygeeks.com. Um, and um, you can always follow me on the social media stuff. Uh, Twitter and Instagram at Bry underscore 2J and the channel is Yay Toys Plus on Instagram. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff coming my way and there's going to be some reviews coming over the course of, you know, the month. So thank you guys so much and uh, I will see you guys in the next one. There might be a small break in between videos um, because I need to have my wallet re replenish. So, um, <laughs> but I got a lot coming. All right, so stay tuned. Well, um, the next video should be within like a week or so, okay? Uh, thank you guys so much for everything. You guys mean the world to me, and I love you all. So, with that being said, peace.